AI agents are here. They save you time, they make money, and they can give you an unfair advantage over your competitors with an infinitely scalable workforce. However, chances are, if you've tried setting some of them up already, you probably realize that popular tools like NA10, Make, and Zapier are not so straightforward. They take a lot of tinkering, troubleshooting, and hours of tutorials before you can really set anything up. And the truth is, most people never really get past that friction. So they give up and they get left behind. But it doesn't have to be this way, as the tool I'm about to show you today makes building AI agents as easy as having a real employee in your business and telling them what to do in plain English. So if you're tired of wasting your time and you wanna start building powerful AI agents without writing a single line of code, this video will be a game changer. As by the end of it, I will turn you into an AI agent pro who can automate any task within their business at will. So let's get right into it. So first off, what is an AI agent? To put it simply, think of it as your digital employee that can understand your instructions and carry out tasks independently. And to do so, they can interact with digital tools like Gmail, Google Calendar, Notion, etc. And the number one builder for these digital employees is Lindy, with over 5,000 integrations with other apps, as well as 4,000 web scrapers. They have a drag and drop builder that unlike other automation tools, requires no complex configuration. You just combine the parts that you need and configure them using natural language. So let's jump right into the platform so that I can show you what I'm talking about. So just like a human employee, AI agents have systems that sort of resemble perception, brain, and memory. We can use that as an analogy to sort of understand how AI agents work. For perceptions, humans rely on five senses, sight, sound, touch, smell, and taste. We use that to understand our environment and to take information in. An AI agent also has inputs. They need to perceive information in, right? To understand what they need to do in the first place. In our case, the AI agents begin with a trigger. This is where the inputs to the AI agents begin. By the way, the platform we'll be using refers to AI agents as Lindy's. So from now on, I'll just refer to them as Lindy's as well. So this is where it all begins. The inputs begin with a trigger. A trigger can be a prompt that you send or a chat message that you send, or maybe a new record that is added to a spreadsheet. Lindy has thousands of integrations, so the amount of triggers that they have is honestly endless. We'll just go to the built-in trigger, which is chat with Lindy. This trigger allows you to chat to Lindy directly on Lindy itself so that you can activate the different functions and you can send in the inputs. So once the input comes through to the AI agent, it then needs to decide what it does that information. And in Lindy, there's a few different options there. One option is the condition. You can basically break down the information into the conditions. So the agent will only proceed further if the input that it receives matches the condition. For example, go down this path if the user is asking for, I don't know, let's just say a TikTok script. So now if we send a message to Lindy, we send this input, it will only proceed further down the path if we match this condition. On Lindy, you can add as many conditions as you want, right? You can add all these different conditions to make sure that we're only activating certain pathways if the condition is met. That's one option, right? The other option is to perform an action. So that will be the beginning of building the automations. So we can take the input and then perform a certain kind of action from it, a specific action, right? For example, we could do Google Drive, we could create a new folder, or Discord, we can send a new message. Google, we can carry out a Google search. There's many different options on here and we'll go into detail on them a bit later. Next up, we have the knowledge base. You can think of it as the memory of the AI agent. So we could have an input that then triggers the AI agent to go through and search for the knowledge base for a specific piece of information. There's different options that you have in Lindy for the knowledge bases. You can upload files, you can upload Google Drive folders, you can upload Notion pages, simple text, Dropbox, and more. Next up, we have loops. So loops are useful if you have a lot of information that you're sending through. Let's say you send through an entire table of data and then you want your agent to go through every single one of those pieces of data and perform certain actions to them. For example, you can go to action and then you can have the, your AI agent take that data and then carry out a perplexity search for every single piece of those. The options here are up to your imagination. And last but not least, we've got AI agent. These are useful when you're not sure exactly what you're automating and you just want to tell Lindy what to do and it'll just figure it out by itself. The AI agents, you have a prompt, so you literally tell this AI agent what it is and what it does and then you can give it skills. So in skills, you can choose all of these different actions that we were talking about before. But 
here the AI agent will basically just choose which skill and which action is relevant to the prompt and what it's being asked to do and it will carry out the tasks through that. You can add many different tasks so that it can combine different actions to basically co complete whatever you're asking it to do. So this basically covers all of the important bits of how Lini functions and everything you need to know to start building your AI agents. So let's now actually build some. We'll go over two examples that smart founders and professionals are already using to supercharge their productivity. First off, personal executive assistant. We'll create an AI agent that knows everything about you and can conduct research using combination of models like perplexity and chat gpt you could set appointments so it could email back and forth different attendees and actually figure out a time that works for all of you it can manage your calendar it can handle recurring personal or work tasks like email personalized news report of the industry every monday and it can help you retrieve information from any of your internal documents and after that we'll build an ai outreach swarm i will show you how you can create thousands of ai agents that work together to scrape urls to find leads then enrich those leads using b2b databases or linkedin profiles then it can find relevant blogs pr interviews or youtube videos that that person has been on and then use all of that information combined to draft a highly personalized email. It can send you that draft for approval or email it right away. And then you can go back to their LinkedIn profile, find lookalike profiles and repeat this entire process resulting in hundreds of outreaches done by just sending it one URL. With most AI tools, setting something up like this would take weeks or multiple days. However, with Lindy, we can build out both of these examples in under 10 minutes. Let me show you how to do it. First, we've got the executive assistant. So here I built out an AI agent that is connected directly to my Slack that can help me with different things. As you can see here, we have our action, which is the message received on Slack. I have my Slack channel linked here just here on the right and then i have a condition so here it basically just goes down the individual paths depending on the condition for example one of them is if you're asked about appointments then it goes down this one other one is research and another one is regarding like company documents here i added an ai agent i gave it a prompt i told it that it's a research assistant it uses perplexity to go for the topic summarize it and then ask me for confirmation if all good then put it into a google doc here in the skills i give it slack perplexity google docs create an update document so using all the skills and carry out research message me back and then create google docs if i confirm here in tasks we have an example of it carrying out exactly that i asked it to research the best vegetarian multivitamin send a message from my slack channel it went through research use perplexity to research it then by itself it decided to do more research to gain additional information about absorption and timing did more research sent me a message then i sent it a message back saying that i would like it put into a google doc it saw that message created a google doc put that research in there and then sent it back to me and here's that google doc if you're curious all the research right in here exactly as i needed it next example we've got the ai agent for scheduling once again i added another ai agent i told it that it's my scheduling assistant it uses google calendar for setting appointments as well as gmail to respond and message back to the attendees here we've got an example i told it to block out my entire calendar for tomorrow and then book an appointment with friend Jack on Friday at 9 a.m. and send him a confirmation email. It did exactly that, booked out the entire day for tomorrow that I'm out of office, check my availability for Friday, schedule that in and then send a confirmation email to Jack saying that I booked him in for 9 a.m. and then even send the email and then obviously send me the confirmation message. And last but not least, we've got the knowledge base one. So for this one, basically whenever I put a criteria that whenever I ask about company information, information or company SOPs or processes to search through the knowledge base where I linked my Google Drive and I also uploaded a file. So now whenever I ask in Slack about specific details, it can pull up a Google Doc and then send that to me in Slack. Let me just show you. Here's an example. I messaged Lindy on Slack asking it to check the email SOP for my sponsorship package rates. It went through the knowledge base, found the document and sent the message back with the rates from the document. And here, for example, is the document. It was able to find this document, go through it, find this specific 
specific section, extract it, and then send it back to me on Slack. Pretty awesome. And here we have our outreach swarm. Once again, we started the trigger of message received within Lindy itself. Then I added an AI agent here where I just assigned it Google Sheet skills as well as browser skills. Basically, it's able to browse the internet. And I told it that whenever it receives a Google Sheet or a website URL to retrieve a list of leads by first name, last name, and email. Once that's done, it enters a loop. Basically, starting it's like a separate AI agent to carry out all of this task for each one of the leads. What it will do is here we have a perplexity function. So we'll carry out a perplexity search for each one of the leads, basically researching on them further. Then we have an AI agent once again, for every single one of those, it will find their LinkedIn profile, their Facebook, Instagram, their podcast appearances, their blog posts, their YouTube videos. And then after that, I added a draft email action where using all of the previously gathered information, it will draft a highly personalized email. And then this is where the fun begins. By using that, it will find lookalike profiles on LinkedIn by basically using that URL and it will send that back for another loop. Basically finding profiles similar to that person, researching them once again, and then drafting even more emails. Let me show you an action that it actually works. So here's an example. I entered this, um, this no code conference. It crawled through it, found three different leads. And then as you could see, it started a separate agent for every one of them, went on to research them with perplexity, as well as searching the internet, gathered all of this information. So we found their LinkedIn, the website, personal website, found their Instagram, their Facebook, recent podcast appearances, recent media coverage, YouTube content, contact information, their current role, and then plug that information into LinkedIn and search for lookalike profiles, entering those back into the loop again. And then I did another one here, the no code week, it crawled through it, found 24 leads, and it's processing through them now. And to build this, I didn't do anything fancy. I just added the different actions, the loop, and the things that I recovered already. If you wanted to, you could actually like prompt it even further to refine it even more. You can re refine the perplexity query to make it more detailed, draft emails. So here you can actually enter like an example email of what you would like it to look like. And there's a few other things you can do to optimize all of this. As I promised, all of this was done in plain English. There was no complicated setup. You literally just add different actions and different triggers, link them together, write in plain English what you want the agents to do. And that's it. It carries out the automations for you like clockwork. Now, although AI agents are already quite powerful, we are just getting started as we are seeing improvements in these tools and their functionality almost on a monthly basis. In a few years down the road, you'll be asking yourself, how did you even live without tools like Lindy? So don't be one of those people that refuses to learn new technology and ends up being left behind. You can check out Lindy by clicking the link in the description and start automating tasks for free. Lindy has a free plan so that you can start playing around and do exactly that. And if you click the video on the screen now, you can learn exactly how you can use Lindy to build a million dollar business with zero employees. I'll see you there.